I have heard your requests and now these Traeger smoked St. Louis style ribs recipe is ready for you to enjoy. This is using a foil packet method, which means they're going to have intense flavor and be super tender and fall off the bone. So the first thing that you want to do is actually remove the membrane from it. And you just do this by pulling up the white lining with some paper towel off of the ribs. And then you season them with your favorite dry rub super liberally. Do both sides of the ribs and you get those onto the Traeger smoker for three hours at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, here's the fun part. You take the ribs off of the Traeger. So they're done smoking for the first step, but you leave the Traeger on and you get your favorite beer ready because in a little foil packet, you want to add some beer, some honey, and then put the meaty side down and the bone side up of ribs in there. Wrap the foil packet up, put another piece just to make sure it's totally enclosed because you're actually gonna flip it over so the meaty side is up when it goes back to smoking. So you wanna do that for all three rack of ribs and then they go back onto the smoker and they smoke for about another two and a half hours and you just want to make sure that they reach an internal temperature of at least 185 degrees. Now while they're smoking, take like two minutes to make this barbecue and beer sauce. This is going to be so delicious to rub all over those ribs, brush it on, it's ready to go once it gets simmered and bubbly like you see there. And then you take the ribs off, I swear this is the final step, you take the ribs off you flip them, oh, that one broke, but the others didn't. So flip them carefully so the meaty side is up and then you really generously brush on that beer and barbecue sauce all over the St. Louis smoked ribs and then pop it back in the Traeger or whatever pellet smoker grill you're using and let that side kind of harden up and make a nice crust for about 15 30 minutes tops, whatever to your liking. And then these are ready to devour. So delicious, you can print out the full recipe at Sip Bite Go. Ah, oh, this is so good. So about three rack of ribs of these St. Louis style smoker ribs fit in the Ironwood 650. And I did three racks because that's exactly what you usually get if you get them at Costco or a large store like that. These were so good guys. Make them with something like my smoked corn on the cob recipe, smoked mac and cheese. Oh, there are so many good sides for smoked ribs. Well, until next time, I hope that you have a wonderful and delicious day. But I'm still going here because I recorded so much footage and just literally couldn't cut it out. So anyways, look at these ribs. Did not need a knife could completely pull them apart with our fingers. So tender, so delicious. We sent some over to the neighbors. Look at that, gorgeous. Oh, all right. I'd sing you a song, but my singing voice just isn't so great. <laughs> all right, well, until next time, have a wonderful and delicious day. Cheers.